folks this morning. Good morning, guys. Hey, good morning. Right now we've got fair skies over the area. Later today, temperatures soaring to upper 70s, low 80s. Can we say water table, uh -huh. flip-flop, almost even pool weather? It's going to be so warm, feeling a little tropical, but it doesn't last long. No, it does not last long. By tonight, we get the rain, the thunderstorms in here, some area showers and storms tomorrow. And, and right now, that'll set us up for some good weekend. It weather. is going to be lovely. So the timing may not be ideal because it is overnight. The good news is you get dry day today, mostly dry day tomorrow, and your weekend is is looking fabulous. So here are some quick notes. Today, sunny and warm. Temperatures are going to rise quite quickly with highs in the upper 70s and low 80s. That is near record breaking heat. Would not be surprised if we tied or even broke that record today. Overnight tonight, so starting around 10 o'clock going into 6 o'clock. Yes, that is a very large time frame and it's because we're covering the entire portion of Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky. Give us a few minutes and then we'll go over the hour by hour for your house. But overall, that's the big time frame for the potential for strong to severe storms to take place. But as Leland pointed out, this weekend, lovely and seasonal. But these temperatures sure are not. Here's a live look for you right now in Davidson County. 59 degrees to start off. Then you make your way just over into Dixon. You're even warmer. You're coming in at 62. We've got quite the setup. Obviously, we've been dealing with that high pressure, but I want you to look to our north. We've got a warm front and then we've got a cold front. A lot of changes will be headed into our direction. Right now, it is easy, it is dry, and it will be bright the moment the sun comes up. And that's going to allow these temperatures that are already warm just to continue to rise as those temperatures will be in the mid 60s by lunch after lunch. I mean, mid 70s by lunch after lunch, obviously in those 80s. Winds right now are going to be pretty light, but Leland, they're going to gain strength and momentum coming in out of our south today and really getting gusty overnight. Yeah, yeah those winds later today will gust up to 20, 25 miles per hour and a similar story for us overnight tonight as well. Columbia, good morning. Right now you're away. 61 flag moving a little bit, so a little bit of a breeze. Those wind uh, conditions will get even stronger later today. Meanwhile, I need to get out and walk the dog. Pearl, ready to go for a morning walk, courtesy of John and Rochelle Centron there. We appreciate them for sharing Pearl with us this morning. Uh, there you can see the uh, green paw there for the dog walk forecast. Most of you drive by the end of the day around Sunday Sunset. It's not out of the question that there might be a shower in our northwestern corner, but for a lot of you, we're not talking until after sunset, and for many of you, not until after midnight. So here's a look at the highs for you today. Upper 70s to low 80s for highs going into the afternoon. Meanwhile, for our friends who are in town for the SEC tournament, day two, game number one is underway. It's uh, noon, 75 degrees at 3 o'clock around 81 and then 79 for you at the 6 o'clock hour. So let's run exact track. So here's the deal for today. Not much going on. Good dose of sunshine, some higher clouds streaming in, but a fair amount of sunshine and just warm and breezy for you this afternoon. Now this is 10 o'clock. There's that line moving into western Kentucky and back into west Tennessee as we push closer to midnight in the land between the lakes area down to Jackson and then back out down toward the Memphis area. Here we go by 2 o'clock knocking on the door of Nashville, Cheatham County back into the Hickman County area. There it is by 4 o'clock moving across the eastern counties and then by 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. starting to move across the plateau. Behind this, there could still be a few scattered showers and thunder showers during the day tomorrow. But for today on our seven day, look for a high of 82 and then for tomorrow 68 and then going into the weekend, some good weather for us out there. It's going to be perfect mm -hmm. for our weekend. Sunday's high will be back into those low 60s. We've got a system that's going to move in. Not a big rainmaker, but mm -hmm. it will be a temperature changer. You'll notice heading into next week, highs below average in those 50s. And yes, another potential for a light freeze both Tuesday and Wednesday morning.